Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do a video on how I do my makeup. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so first I go in with moisturizer. I use Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free this stuff. Okay, and I just put that all over my face. Um, I need a really good combination skin moisturizer. I do like this one. It's gel, but it's not like my holy grail facial moisturizer. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. Next, we're going to be putting on concealer on my eyelids to um what's the word? Prime the eyes. I just use like this little baby sponge. Now I'm going to put on some eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go with the neutral look from my, yeah, Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. Um, if you don't know who she is, she makes amazing makeup products and I really, love the quality of what she puts out but yes i'm putting the shade love handles all over my lids and blending that out with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and this is going to be a very simple tutorial just pretty much how i do my makeup every day flat eyeshadow brush like so and I'm going to spray it with some MAC Fix Plus and get a sparkly shade and put it all over my lid. This is the shade Rider Diamonds, by the way. Now I'm going to get a brush like this. It, this is the Morphe M433 brush. Um, I used to not think that brushes were so important in doing your eyeshadow, but it really makes a difference on how you apply the eyeshadow and like how it turns out on your eyes. So I invested in some eyeshadow brushes from Morphe and it completely changed my eyeshadow game. Okay, so now I'm just applying this on the outside of my eyelid, darken this area. You typically wanna darken this area because you want your lashes to look like more intense over there. This is just what I do. I am not an expert, but I have been getting compliments on my makeup lately and it's awesome. And now you guys can learn exactly what I do. Okay, it's not like me or perfect or anything because I still need to put on foundation and I can clean it all up. Okay, and then just gonna take like a a small precision brush it's pretty like firm in its shape and I'm going to get a highlight cotton this one I think and put it on my brow bone 
Actually, no, I'm going to use a different palette because those are intense. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. And I'm using this shade right here. It's called Beam. And it's so pretty. Love this color. Can you see that? It's so pretty. Just really highlights the, the brow bone. Alrighty, and then I have lash extensions on. Thanks to Lash Dina. You should follow her on Instagram. Um, she's really talented. So I'm not gonna do anything with my lashes, and then I'm gonna put some eyebrows on. I have the Hourglass Arch pencil, and this is awesome. I really love it. It's super tiny, and it's just so easy to apply. I'm just gonna darken all this area. You typically want your eyebrows to look darker so they look more full. Subtle difference. for foundation I do my under eyes after foundation always because of just it looks better and then I'm using a real technique sponge I used to get the beauty blender but you have to buy that way too often and it's $20 every time so real techniques $5 super good sponge and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This, this is my holy grail foundation. I love it. If you have combination skin, get it. I've used so many different foundations and nothing like this has happened for me before. No creasing, no, well, I mean, I do get oily, but that's an easy fix up. Just putting this everywhere. By the way, my background is like this because I'm in the middle of moving and everywhere else is a mess. She's super cute, but she's way too protective. I'm gonna do my under eyes with the same concealer I did on my lids. sure that it blends really good with your foundation now I look so much more awake but I also look very like one tone so now we're going to do um, contour 
Shade Light Palette by Kat Von D. Love this palette. Really good. So yeah, I just kind of like tap into this shade right here. And bronze my forehead. I just try to make myself look a little bit more tan, have like a healthy glow. You can see it's such a big difference already. Okay, same shade. Gonna bronze these cheeks out. And now for the jawline. Hey! By the way, this is the Real Techniques blush brush. I think Kathleen Lights recommended this a long time ago. I love it for bronzing. Alrighty, next we have Nose Contour, and I use the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Hey guys, chill, star, chill, be crazy, okay, get like a really light shade, and basically just narrow the nose out. Hey! Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend this out because it kind of looks like my nose is dirty. And I don't even know what this is, but I love it for my nose blending. That'll do. Next, I'm going to sharpen my contour with the Harmony or the MAC contour called Harmony. I'm pretty sure this is like most people's contour shade. Every single time I do people's makeup, this is what they have. Love it. Okay, now for some blush. I use the Milani um blush in the shade luminoso so pretty so affordable it's like only five dollars and i have so many blushes and i just i can't get away from this one because of how pretty it is and i've recently been bringing my blush up because i heard it makes your face look more alive compared to just keeping it here. So there's the blush. What else do I have left? Lips. And let me just spray my face real quick. Be careful when you do this if you're wearing mascara because you'll get your mascara everywhere. Okay. Lip time. Pure Zen by MAC. I'm like about to run out. I love the shade. I will be repurchasing. It is so pretty. 
for a natural look. And this is my makeup look. Super easy, took like 10 minutes. I mean, the only thing that you might have to do that I didn't do is my eyelashes, but thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you want me to try out any other makeup looks. Sometimes I do dark lips, sometimes I do dark eyeshadow, but I'm always down to try new things. So let me guys, let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching.